Good evening, everyone. This is one of my favourite events of the year. Naturally, I'm sorry we couldn't be together in person, but I'm pleased to be here in the beautiful surroundings of Southwark Cathedral. There's no doubt we're living through a difficult and anxious period, and my heart goes out to everyone who's lost loved ones this year. The pandemic continues to claim lives, devastate families, and push many in our communities into hardship. And yet, amid this darkness, we can see embers of hope. The generosity and decency of Londoners has been inspiring, from our heroic NHS staff to London's amazing faith communities. Time and again, I've been blown away by the acts of kindness. And so, as we look forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, I want to pay a particular tribute to our Christian communities. Your contribution to our city is truly immense. So I want to say a heartfelt thank you for putting your Christian values into practice and for being a source of light and inspiration to us all. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Southwark Cathedral Children's Choir. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Southwark Cathedral, set alongside the Thames at the heart of London, our great city. Wherever you are, in London or beyond, you are very welcome. When we celebrated Christmas here with our Mayor just 12 months ago, none of us had any idea of what we would be facing together the demands of the pandemic, and our response to it continue to shape our lives. We've seen the tragedy of so much loss, of lives, of jobs, of hope, of confidence. But we've also seen wonderful acts of kindness in our key workers, in community volunteers, in the simple love of one person supporting another, of a neighbour looking out 
for a neighbour. The need to distance has been hard. Many of us thrive on touch, on contact, on being close to someone else, the one we love. What Christians celebrate at Christmas is that God comes close in Jesus and closer yet. Because as our Gospels tell us, the Word became flesh and lived among us. God draws close, never distanced, never absent. As we see God in the baby in the manger, who his mother Mary holds close. Whether you share this faith or not, know something of that love this Christmas and every day in the new year, whatever it might hold. So let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. Our reading is read for us by Alice Denger, who is Head of Nursing for Women's Services at Guy's and St Thomas's Hospital. St. Luke tells us the story of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that they went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And his taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone in his own city. And Joseph all went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she would be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a, great, a, with angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray to Jesus, our Savior. Christ, born in a stable, give courage to all who are homeless. Jesus, Savior, hear our prayer. Christ, for whom the angels sang, give the song of the kingdom to all who weep. Jesus, Savior, hear our prayer. Christ, worshipped by the shepherds, give peace on earth to all who are oppressed. Jesus, Savior, hear our prayer. Christ, before whom the wise men knelt, give humility and wisdom to all who govern. Jesus, Savior, hear our prayer. Christ, who shared our joys and pain, comfort all in this pandemic. Jesus, Savior, hear our prayer. Christ, whose radiance filled a lowly manger, give the glory of your resurrection to all who rest in you. Jesus, Savior, hear our prayer. Amen. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>